which was spoken by the prophet, and this is the, really the prophet uh, uh, Zechariah, uh, the prophet saying, tell the daughters of Zion, behold, your king is coming to you, lowly and sitting on a donkey's colt, the, foul, the fall of a donkey. So the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them. And they brought the donkey and the colt laid, the colt laid their clothes on them and set him on them. And a very great multitude spread their clothes on the road and cut down branches from the tree or the palm tree and spread them on the road. Then the multitude who went before and those who followed cried out saying, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. And when he had come unto Jerusalem, all the city was moved saying, who is this? And so the multitude said, this is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth of Galilee. Then Jesus went into the temple of God and drove them <laughs> and drove out all those uh, who brought and sold in the temple and overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold doves. And he said to them, It is written, My house shall be called a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. I, I want to, you know, just, uh, I, I kind of smiled and laughed at that because <clears throat> when I got saved, this really wasn't an issue because I didn't know. I came out of Catholicism, and we, in Catholic Church, we, at that time, we didn't have a struggle with money. You just gave. But when I got into, born again into the, the our churches, the, the, I use the word the Gentile, the Protestant church, I found out that we struggled with money. And, and I can remember lines, $100 lines, $50 lines. I never got in a line. I just got in the offering line. And uh, because I never really thought that that was an issue for me. Uh, first of all, I'm going to share something with you. Yeah, you can be hoodwinked. Yeah, you could be flamboozled. But I'm going to tell you what. If you're giving towards God, you'll never get cheated. That, that's a fact. I don't care. People might try to get over on you. But if you give it out of a heart to give, they'll never get over on you. Because God looks at the heart. He, he really isn't looking at the amount of money you're giving. He's looking at the intent of how you're giving it. So don't worry about people trying to get over on you. Literally. Because he'll deal with the try to get over on you. But he'll bless you because you're a giver. I, that, that, I just had to give that out because he laid that in my spirit. Because people, I ain't giving that. All they want is your money. Let me tell you something. Glory to God. It ain't your money. God is allowing you to hold something. Amen. And you do the best you can with what you have. But I'm going to tell you what. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And add the world and everything in it. Glory to God. The devil belongs to God. And one day he'll tell him what he's going to do with him. I just, amen. So don't, don't worry. People trying to get over on me. They're trying to cheat me. You're going to have an opportunity, glory to God, to see God is in control. How many of you have ever been flamboozled or hoodwinked? I have, and glory to God, and God has still blessed me. Amen. It seemed like, I mean, I'm telling you, how many have loaned out money and haven't gotten paid? But God gives it back. Amen. Give, and it's, uh, I, I'm on this giving thing for some reason. And I want to thank you all for giving. Amen. You all some giving folk. But I want to emphasize that Jesus proved who he was. But here's the thing. If you don't believe in him, you, it doesn't matter what he does. You're not going to believe. But when you start believing that he is who he said he was, you will see him. How many know I'm telling the truth? I, I, oh, glory to God. I, when, when after my episode closed, and I'm going to tell you all what. I, I shared this in Virginia. I'll share it with you all. I, I don't like jumpsuits. Orange, blue, or whatever. I didn't like it when they were in style. Then I tell you that. So, <laughs> so I'm standing there with the prosecutor. And that wonderful young lady said, Your Honor, we want to give him six years. Now, six years to me, I'm 65, so I figure 71 
I'll be an old brother. I'm an old brother now, but 71, I ain't going to feel like doing much after that. And I kind of looked over at her, and she smiled. And so I knew she was doing her job, and I was doing mine, and my attorney was doing his. But uh, one thing I've learned, and I want to show this into you. I went to the book of Isaiah, the, the uh, 26th chapter. Let me do this right quick, because I want to make sure I'm, I'm where I should be with this. Isaiah 26. And you might need this one day. Isaiah 26 and 3. If you would, Crystal, you pull it up for me. Isaiah, yeah, there you go. Thank you, baby. That, yeah, I can use you instead of me trying. Yeah. Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him because you trust him. I've been saved over 40 years. I'm in the 43. I don't even know. I've been saved long and I've been unsaved. That's just a fact. But I've never kept my mind stayed. How many can say, you know what I'm talking about. You, you got so much stuff going on during the day. You wake up, mothers wake up, and, and, and the children, and the, especially working mothers and, and single parents, oh, bless your heart. And those that are working get up, and you, you ain't, you, you're trying to put God there, but you know the deal. You're wondering, oh, my God, I'm going to go in there. And you got certain people that you don't like and jobs. Y'all know the deal. And I'm, I even hate getting up going to this job, but I'm going. But God, your mind isn't stayed. Right? Your mind has stayed so many areas. And, and so I decided I got to see. How many have ever been to a place where your mind seemed like you're going crazy? Anybody ever, and fear try to overtake you. How many ever been in a fear be trying to, and fear will talk to you. It'll tell you, oh yeah, you going to jail. You going to lose everything. And they coming to get your house and whatever. And that monkey boy, he, he turned into a gorilla. He was a little thing when I started, but that joker boy was King Kong. You ever have a King Kong come at you? And, and, and he was on top of the building trying to tear my head off. I'll tell you when you know that the devil's trying to take you out when he tells you to take yourself out. How many ever been there know what I'm talking about? You're tired. I can't do this no more. My life is overwhelming. I, and I shared this with you all uh, earlier. I had a whole bunch of pills. I, I take all kinds of stuff for my hip, things for my cholesterol, whatever. And, and, I, and my pills lined up. And this is early in the beginning. And I'm born again. Mine stayed on Jesus at best. Devil said, man, won't you just take yourself out? And that's what I knew. I woke up. How many ever woke up to the reality is, oh, it might be bad, but it ain't that bad. Oh, it might be bad, but it ain't that bad. I was overwhelmed when, when uh, Robin Williams took himself. I'm like, my God. See, you don't know what a person's going through. You think they're on top of the world when actually the world's on top of them. Yeah. Amen. You think they're on top, but they're... So, so glory to God, I, that's when I said, Simmons, come to yourself. Right. That's when I started talking to God. See, sometimes you talking, but you ain't listening. Right. How many know what I'm talking about? You're talking, but you ain't listening. And after a while, I quiet myself. So I got to quiet myself, man. Because stuff was running through my head. You know, my God, the wife, the kids, and the church. And man, I could see you in an orange jumpsuit picking up paper on the side of the road. I'm like, oh, Jesus. I want to show you how the devil works. I, I, I'll be riding down 55, and I wouldn't even look at the brothers. <laughs> I, I be driving like, oh, God, I can't see myself on that bus coming out, glory to God. And, and all of a sudden, I went in there. I said to myself, I want to I wanna find me a hiding place. How many know they need a hiding? You need a place where no, oh, God, I know what I'm talking about. You can go into him, and he will shelter. He'll shut everything out. And I'm going to tell you something in this church. When he shuts you in, he takes good care. Yeah. Well, glory to God. So I said, I got to get my mind stayed. Yeah. He, he started sending me people on a positive note. Yeah. And you got to watch who you talk to. 
You can't talk to, and you got to watch what you say out of your mouth. You can't be walking around talking doom and gloom and, uh, and down in the situation because then when I went in there, I saw a word. Here's what the first thing God came and he told me as king of kings and lord of lords. He said, in everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. So I said, Lord, is this what you want? He said, in everything, give thanks. Most of y'all would not have known I was going through anything. I'm telling you. On the outside, I was shouting the victory. What's that? Yeah, boy. But on the inside, I had to shut myself out. And so then I said, wait a minute. I'm trying to keep my mind. See, your mind is your will, your emotions, and your intellect. Because you, you can tell if a person flustered, watch their motions. The face all broke up. <laughs> lips all poked out. They mad. They're saying stuff they know they don't normally say. Right? If you know I'm not a cursor. If I would walk around cursing, you ought to know something wrong. Oh, go to hell. Oh, you get out of my way. You ought to be looking like that ain't the pastor I know. Right? Because when I wasn't saved, I tell you, the New York men would go to hell. In a New York minute. That was one of my favorite phrases. Bam! I didn't know what it looked like, but I tell you to go there. Now, I'm just telling everybody to go to heaven. I love it. So, I locked myself because I knew. I, I didn't. How, how many of you know you saved? You don't, you don't, you mentally assented at first, but now you know. See, nothing, not a demon in hell can come and say, Simmons, you going to hell. No, because I know where I'm going. When you know that you, how, can somebody help me here? I need somebody to help me grab onto this because I know. I know he's real. I, I know he was born of a virgin. Now, 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 scientifically, it's impossible. Ain't no way a woman can have a baby unless they either shoot her, you know, with a needle. <laughs> you know, ain't no, you know, I know a lot of a lot of women wish they could have said it was immaculate conception. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> because some of the guys they went to told them it was immaculate. It ain't my baby. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> but I know that that little girl said, Glory to God, what I have is conceived of the Holy Ghost. I know he wrote again on the third day. I, I wasn't there, but I know. I felt going to God. I've, 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 I've read it so much. I feel like Peter and John going in that temple, that tomb, and looking. I know he ain't there. I said, I got to get my mind locked. So what I did, glory to God, the first thing I had to do, and the Holy Spirit spoke to me, and I'm going to share this until God tell me not to share it no more. The first thing I had to do was turn off distractions. Yes, sir. I had to get out of distractions. One thing I knew, and I was an avid television watcher. I, I looked at TV even though I didn't look at TV. How, how many know what I'm talking about? I'd walk in. I, told, I shared this last week. Glory to God, I was in my hotel, me and Cynthia, uh, last week. We ain't turned the TV on once. Now, you know that's crazy for most folks. Amen. I had the remote. I moved it over. I don't need it because I've, I've refocused. I, this is me. This ain't telling you that. ain't telling me to turn my TV off. You do whatever you want. You can eat your TV for all it's worth. <laughs> Amen. Boil it down. Put some gravy on it. But, but I had to turn off distraction. And I know. You ain't got to tell me the TV is not distraction. It is. You turn it on, and a lot of stuff, I, I, I remember. One thing I, that, that really irked my spirit was those shows, those forensic things that they would go and try to figure out who killed who. You know, I'm like, I'm right there with them. And they putting that thing together, and they, boom, forensic medicine. I, wow. And the other thing, too, was those detective stories when they, all these serial killers. Yeah, yes, After a while, that thing got in my spirit. How many know what I'm talking about? It started bothering me. And Lord knows, I'm going to go back a couple of years back when they gave me free Cinemax. 
Man, that dread right about 11 o'clock, I'll be like this. Preach it. Oh, send a max, get ready. Send to the max. And ain't nobody there but me and the TV. Bam! Here comes cinema. Who, who know what I'm talking about? Just wave, just wave your hand real quick. So you tell me y'all ain't here. Yeah. Y'all ain't, y'all, I know the deal. Man, that Cinemax, bam! I'm like, whoa! You mean to tell me they still doing that? Wow! Now, here's what's awesome. I'm born again, but there I just become as worldly as I can get. But I didn't think I was worldly. I thought I was just watching something. How many know what I'm talking about? I'm just watching. It ain't like it should be bothering me. But I found out that stuff gets in your spirit, man. The other thing too, man, the news. I could not get in my car without KYW. I, was, I became a news fanatic. KYW. I want the news. I want the weather. Then I started thinking like they was telling me to think. I, I was disliking people I didn't even know. Man, how many know what I'm talking about? I don't like this guy. I don't know who he is, but I don't like him because they said not to like him. Now, I don't know Donald Trump. Never, it, never, but I'm going to tell you what. From what I'm hearing, Donald Trump isn't on top of the world, even though he is, he's leading the political party. Amen. But I'm going to tell you something. Since I've been away from it, Donald Trump can be president. I don't care because Jesus is in control. Let me tell you something. If Donald Trump win, that means God wanted him to win. Because I know, glory to God, President Obama was not supposed to win that last election. But he won. Why? Because God ordained. Y'all better listen to this. If he says so, it is so. All things working together. All things are working together. Because we know if you got a Bible, go to the end of the book. You know what the end's going to be. You ain't got to sit there and wonder what in the world's going to happen. How is the oh, glory to God? Do you know Jesus on continuous was telling them, I'm going to go to Jerusalem. They're going to, be, they're going to kill me. And the first time Peter heard it, he got mad because he thought he was going to be at least third assistant to the bishop. Because, you know, James and John was definitely bucking for first and second. And they let it be known. Uh, Jesus, when you come into your kingdom, you know, uh, one on the right, one on the left. Jesus said, well, you able to drink from the cup? Yeah. They didn't even know what the cup was. All they saw was first and second assistant to the bishop. Hey, Amen. Rubbing elbows with him. I got folk going to God uh, uh, that's upset with my, 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 my bodyguard. How, who he think he is? He all tight with the pastor. No, he ain't tight with me. He's just doing the job. Thank you, Don. I think he is too. If, if not, I'd fire him. No. <laughs> yeah. This blew my mind because I preached it last week. How in the world could James die as soon as he died? You read in the book of Acts, James lost his head, man, immediately. Peter didn't because God knew. I, I, got, I got a plan for you, Peter. He, you, you know, and when Peter had denied him three times, Jesus redeemed him or let him repent it. In the book, read it. He said, uh, Simon, the uh, son of Jonah, lovest thou me? He said, Lord, you know I love you. Um, that's one. Uh, uh, Simon, uh, do you love me? Two. Lord, you know I love you. Third time he asked. He said, Lord, you know everything. Right, right, right. He humbled himself. There. But could you imagine in your mind when, when he was being, uh, 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 getting ready to be crucified, and he had told Peter, he said, you're going to deny me before the cross. You're going to deny me. Could you imagine? And God gave Peter the chance to look him in the face. Could you imagine? I'm telling you what. If I'm up there getting ready to get, you know, wired up, and I said, these, these folk know me. And you look, oh, I don't know him. If I had a rock, I'd throw it at you. <laughs> They lying to that ugly face. They know they know me. How many, how many have had somebody, you with somebody and they, day, I don't know him. You get in trouble, you driving. They with me. I ain't been in this car. I don't know who he is. Ain't my drugs. <laughs> you know it's yours. We bought it together. I ain't got ever so I don't smoke nothing. I say that. I say that because when we got caught in England, 
That wasn't my drugs. Lord knows it was my drugs. It was my bag, but it wasn't my drugs. My bag. <laughs> Take my bag. <laughs> no, I just... So here, I get to a place that I have to get my head right. Because, man, I'm going to tell you what. Your mind will make you go crazy. You'll sit there and start thinking things that never transpire, but you're thinking it. Because the devil knows. He knows. He knows if I can get fear in you, America, help us today, Lord. We're, we glory to God. We're afraid of places we've never been because we heard you can get hurt in it. Yeah. I'm not saying go anywhere, but I'm telling you what. If God wants you out, he'll take you out right here. Yeah. You'd be walking down Malaga, New Jersey right. Street. Right. Right. I ain't going there, man. Because Philadelphia, man. Hell, you going across the bridge. Yeah. Well, Camden's kind of, yeah. before you get on Broadway. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> on Broadway. They say the neon lights are bright. Oh. Yeah. But I'm, I'm here to let you know, glory to God, that I had to get fear off my mind. Because fear is false evidence appearing real. It ain't real. I saw. See, glory to God, I saw in my mind the end results, which I didn't see the end results, but I saw the end. How many of you, glory to God, have gotten letters or word and you've already started formulating in your mind the end result? Oh, Jesus. I know it's, ah, how am I going to, and then you start trying to figure it and working it, and you you there, and, and man, worry will kill you, because it brings a stress that will make you sick. You, you, you can't eat. You, you can go to Country Buffet. Well, you ain't going there now because it's closed. Don't go. But you can go to a buffet. Golden Corral, they closed that one too. And listen, but you can go to a buffet and don't have no appetite. I remember going to God in the first beginning of this thing, we went to Maple Shade. Maple Shade, what's that? Not Maple Shade, uh, Shady Maples. Have you ever been to Shady Maples in, in Lancaster, Pennsylvania? All those been there, Ranger have been to Shady Maples. Now, I mean, they put, what's the name to an open shame? Shady Maples ain't no joke. I'm, I'm serious. Well, you, well, you can smell the aroma pulling into the deal. No, I'm serious. You see my face? I ain't smiling. I mean, man, you, if you want to eat, you can put a bag on right there, man. And I remember the first episode. I was in, in uh, Shady Maples. I couldn't eat nothing. I'm looking at food. I put a little something on my plate. Mom, you were there. You, dot you went. Deacon Skeens and my wife. They in there eating pie and stuff like that. <laughs> you ain't hungry? And I was, I could not eat. Because my mind was not, I had no appetite. And if, who know what I'm talking about? Appetite was gone. And man, I'm telling you, I've been there before now. When I walked out there, you had to carry me out. They rolled this brother out. Because I, I eat. Oh, glory to God. That's why I think I will eat when we get to heaven. But I, I walked out of there. And my, my head was like, man, what in the world's going on here? And then all of a sudden, I went into the Word. Yes. I went into the Word. Yes. For those that saw that saw that wire hanging out of my ear, I was listening to the Word all the time. I just started listening, listening. And you figure, I've been now to be a year, the 1st of April. That, that Word's in my ear. Because if the Word ain't in your ear, Something else is. You ever had somebody else in your ear? For those I remember when I was dating, Cynthia was in my ear. No, I'm just <laughs> ring, phone ringing. Yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> no, I was listening. I was listening. How many of you ever dated and know what I'm talking about? You on that phone. Hi. Especially now with these cell phones, I know y'all be talking somebody in your ear. Talking, talking, talking. And I, I started hearing. I, before I would read the word, but I didn't really 
hear the word. I, I, who knows what I'm talking? Because it takes a while to hear this word. You can't. See, Leviticus, I can go Genesis, Exodus. When I got to Leviticus, oh, you got to be kidding me. And, and, and numbers made no Exodus, I okay. At the end of Exodus, I'm walking out of Exodus. When I get into Leviticus, it's like, ah, oh, no, man. Ah. And Isaiah, I love parts of Isaiah. And Jeremiah, oh, God, this brother crying. And, oh, no sense. There's no sense. Songs of Solomon, oh, come on, man, a woman's breast. I don't need none of that. <laughs> Songs of Solomon. Certain books just did not appeal. Yeah. Am I the only one that know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Look, Lamentations. Five chapters, but Lamentations was like, what in the world? Yeah. You're crying about... At certain parts of Kings, certain parts of Chronicles, I could work with. And Lord, no, Job need to get a job because it did not make no. Job, come on, these three brothers crying, you crying, they talking, you talking. And then the young brother comes in. I'm like, this, come on, man. Brother told me, first, this first, the Lord, first lawyer. He said, you need to read the book of Job. I said, I'm not. <laughs> like, talk, you know, I'm if you want a lawyer, I'll punch you. <laughs> you know the law. I don't know Job. I mean Job. I said, you know what? And then I quieted myself, and I didn't hear him. I heard the Holy Spirit said, read. Read. And I started reading. I told y'all, I started waking up at 1.30 in the morning. I could not sleep. I found out if, how many have woken up and you just turned the TV on? Yeah. Go get a peanut butter and jelly. Go get leftovers that you had earlier. You know, yeah. <laughs> beans and rice, whatever. <laughs> Collards. And you sitting there eating and watching TV. Right. After a while, you do fall asleep. Right. Yeah. Amen. But it takes you a minute to go to sleep. How many would say, yes, pressure? You know, you, yeah, you, you're sitting there. And then all of a sudden, if you're not looking at anything, you start worrying. Things start coming to you. That job. Especially if you've heard something that's, going to, that's not going just right. Or you heard people talking. They've been talking about you like a dog. Here you are. You're going to bite them back. You know, if they're talking about me like a dog, I'm going to bite them like a dog. Amen. So I found out, get in the word. And I started getting in that word. I got me a prayer. For those that know the fervent prayer, I started reading that. I read it every day. I read the fervent prayer every day primarily because it takes an hour for me to read it. Some of you might be less. Some of you might be more. But I, I went to the book of, of um, Matthew and Jesus said, can't you watch for one hour? And that, that thing stuck with me an hour. Do you know giving God an hour before was like, are you kidding me? Right. I'll give him 10 minutes, maybe. Yeah. 15 minutes, I'm, I'm really stretched. Because here's what I know. You can only pray with your understanding for so long. Yeah. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, help me, my wife, the kids. Or, right. Lord, give me, a, you know, help me with my money. And if you don't know word, you ain't praying word because you can't. And if you ain't praying word, you're really not relating. And after a while, then you start thinking, is he really listening? I don't even think he's even listening to me. Let me turn TV back on. So some of us read your Bible. I've seen you lay it under your pillow, lay it on your breast like you're going to absorb it like a, like a, like glycerin, nitro, like, like one of the patches. You know, like it's a patch. The body's going to absorb the word. You know, you read a verse and immediately you sleep. And so I found, I started reading that prayer life. That prayer life, that, that, that book started talking to me. I prayed for you. I prayed for my marriage. I had two prayers for my marriage because my marriage was like, oh, I didn't know what Cynthia was going to do. 
You don't know. Devil start telling you, man, they're going to forsake you. Church is going, going apart. They're going to go all crazy. And I, I started locking. I said, Lord, I hear it, but I can't hear it. I've got to see you. And I started seeing him coming in. The more I listened to that word, the more I could see it. After a while, I started, I listened to it so much, when it not in my ear, I could hear it. I was like, what did I hear? I just heard something. Because I asked God to speak to me. I said, Lord, speak to me. I want to hear you. And, 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 and after a while, your whole mental concept starts changing. Things that used to bother me don't even come. Now, there's still stuff bother me, but not like it used to. Because the bottom line is, if he can do this, he can do anything. But now, here's what's awesome. Here's what's awesome. You can't stop. See, that's the problem. We get over and we're done. Oh, he did it. Boom. Because when you stop, you go right back where you started. Y'all better listen to this because this is going to bless you. You cannot stop. You got to keep marching. You got to keep. See, you might have won a battle, but you got to see the war. See the deal? You got to see the, the full picture. And because here's the thing, you're not going to stop doing this until you leave here. Y'all with me? You got to see what I'm saying? And the more you do it, the more you start losing flavor for what it used to be. Now I can play up there. TV does not. Now I'm not pleased. Do not get the impression I'm telling you not to watch TV. Because I'll watch a cartoon every now and then with my grandkids. Don't make sense to me, but I watch it. And then after a while, I'll hear word. Oh, and that's why I keep it in my ear, because when I'm not, kind of see, I could talk a conversation. When I stop talking, I hear the word. See the deal? Now, I'm not telling you that's what you need to do. I'm, telling, I'm just giving you what works for me. Now, here's what's going to happen. If you're serious, he'll show you what works for you. Holy Spirit will come and say, here's what will work for you. You, know, you might be looking at TV and, and seeing something that I never saw. I don't know, but you might. Now, Cinemax, you're kidding yourself. I'm going to watch Cinemax, and the Holy Spirit's going to speak to me. I ain't going to tell you. you, you, you <laughs> he'll look you right in the face. I'm going to share something, and then I'm closing. I know that the devil wants to kill me. I can't slack up. See, no, this is me. If I know a joker's out there waiting to blow my head off, and I stop carrying my stuff, because see, point. You coming at me, I'm ready, man. See, I know. See, when he said the greater one lives in me, that means he's got to be active in me. God's got to be active in you. So when he comes up, bam. Oh, glory to God. Here he comes, pow, pow. Gun smoke, boy. I'll smoke him. See, when he comes at my family, pow. What? See, I, you got to be packed and ready. Y'all hear what I'm saying? He comes at your kids. He comes at your family. You better be carrying. Because he's speaking to your heart. He's letting you know, don't let this world kid you. It ain't your friend. Don't get caught up with who's going to be president. God is in control. He's got this thing. I'm going to lose everything. You came in naked. You're going out. Naked in. That's one thing Job told me. Job said, naked I came in. Now, let me tell you something. I heard when that brother lost everything. I can lose stuff, but don't mess with my kids. You hear what I'm telling you? You start messing with my kids, man, we might have a little problem. Definitely my girl. Pat's got her. That's why I'm good to go, because Pat's got her. Pat didn't have her right. He didn't know it. He's right there. He's sitting right there. I'm... <laughs> Girls, wouldn't it be good if you had a father that said, you better not be messing with my daughter. You better be straight up. And that brother knows because he's got three girls. Mess with his three girls. You'll see, you'll see a side of Pat you never thought was there. <laughs> Am I right, Pat? That ain't the Pat you can't know. To lose all seven of your kids at the same time, the same day, I'm done. That man said, told his wife, she was finished. Curse God and die. Job said, you speak like a foolish woman. The Lord gave. 
See, I learned, I, I listened. I, my ear was on. I said, man, are you crazy? And I started hearing it. And, and God says, if I can give it, I can give it. I said, what? He said, if I can give it, I can give it. See, I didn't hear taking away. I heard if, he, if it's gone, that means he's got something else. See, I know that. Read the end of the book. You read 42nd chapter of Job, you'll see. He, he gave everything back. And so I, I begin to see, glory to God, it ain't about the church. I said, Lord, if the church go, I'm still good. If my friends go, I'm still good. Because as long as I got you, I got everything I need. I got you, man. Because one day, when I see him face to face, you, you hear me, man? I'm going to see him, and I'm going to see him in peace. I'm going to say, Lord, I hung tough. He said, you ain't got to even say it, son. I was right there with you. See what I'm talking about? You ain't in this by yourself. You got somebody there with you. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Lo, I am with you always. And I tell you what, he walked with me. I had one of the best attorneys in New Jersey. One of the best attorneys. I paid him like he was the best too. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. And that man did not get me off. God did. He was as shocked as I was. We stand up there, and I'm waiting for her to say, doom and destruction. I've heard it before. I'm okay. I'm good. And she said, Your Honor, the state of New Jersey, drop all charges. Me and my attorney both said, <laughs> he, looked, he looked at me. I looked at her. I looked at him. I looked at the judge. Just smiling, just happy. She said, all oh, charges are dropped. She said, Mr. Simmons, you're free to go. I said, I was free when I came in, but I'm definitely free to go. But I was free when I came in. See, I, I was free. I, and I walked oh, right to God. I walked out of that. <laughs> little girl sitting in the back. I walked out of that courtroom. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, didn't I tell you I had it? I told you the first day. Then I spoke to your wife and I spoke to your preacher. Didn't I tell you? And then was the people still okay? I said, Lord, there was good. I said, why would you even think to worry? Because I got you, man. When God says he's had you. Let's stand to our feet. We're all done. We're all done.